here, and welcome to the seventh episode of the LBJ Great Society. As you know, we're already on the teach them well tactic, but we're going to make sure that we don't go too fast in our Great Society, you know, because, uh, why should we? Oh, let me make sure the bug smooths off again. I kind of forgot to put it off. There we Oh. Oh, I already... Oh, Debug Smooth was already off. God darn it. Anyway, since we're already in August, let's see how we'll try and handle with the uh, problems with uh, toggle shipments, Grand Polyesta, PPLN win. I am not going to let them. Ah, here we go. Ugly developments. Just leave me. I need a moment before I can take care of this. Huh. Fortified Orinoco region. Let's do that. Loans for democracy are prioritized buying Indonesian resources. Hmm. Authorize a small scale aerial bombardment. We have not exceeded our state bombing capacity of one. Yep, we have teached them well. Let's see. Welfare of the people. Now the federal control must be re-examined. Presidential task force. The OFN unity is very high. The token right civil legislation is really going somewhere. Mr. Huberty e. Humphrey. The Great Society. We talk to Dixiecrats and the Republicans. <laughs> oh wow, that is so crazy. Disavow the Dixiecrats. Now nah, we can't just disavow them. Let's see. This will increase our miscellaneous costs. Hmm. Sideline anti-nuclear activism. Really, sidelining anti-nuclear activists will, dis will decrease support among conservatives. Sanction. Establish new national parks. Wow. Well, at least that's a good thing. We should try that. Now we can admit the Commonwealth of England towards the OFN. Trying to do, trying to do all of this is crazy work. I will say that. Temporary tax cut. Okay, maybe that didn't work. I should have chose check tax hike instead. our pennies. Can't, let's see, we're counting our pennies, 20%. This will reduce inflation by 1.2 to 26% and improve over time. It's best effect 10 months after it's enacted. Hmm, cost zero. This will cost us in GDP growth. We'll fight some poverty. Ahead. Sweet talking the Democrats. We need to make it happen. Coordinate with Australian patrol. Curb 
Inspection debuts on the little screen. Saturday mornings with Tom and Jerry. Commit more troops. We're already at 97% stability, boys. Increasing patrols in... Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, we'll increase patrols to there. Air put there. Search and destroy. No, I can't do that yet. Okay, let's see. In order to foster an education system, assess current programs. Before new programs can be proposed and passed, we need an inquiry in the current federal policy situation of the warrant. Ugly words. Meaning staff could hear the clicking of a typewriter late into the night. We need to at least currently currently various welfare programs from past administrations exist, with their own funds and bureaucracies under the executive branch. Before moving to more bold measures, President Johnson has recommended an examination of these programs to determine the best method of management is for future programs. Determining what is unnecessary and cutting the fat where where needed also needs to needs to be prudent for the sake of physical responsibility. The Fredbear Safety Net. Urban and Black and Nativist voters. List. This will increase turnout in the next election. Dixie Crep support for the Republican Democrat will fail by that much. Maybe I think it's advised for me not to try to try and do that yet. Because, uh, yeah, if I do it way too early. So let's see if we can try. Let's try to war off. Let's try and assess current programs as it stands. Or hell, I might not just do the civil rights part at all and just like bypass it all together. The Great Society! Poverty monthly change, zero, plus zero. Education policy month change, education policy monthly change is zero, is plus zero point ten. Education grants for soldiers. Ooh, this will improve our school system in the country, reduce support for the MPP among the enlisted, and our research facilities of societal development will begin to slowly improve. Oh, a Japanese operative has been captured? Oh man, that's crazy. Let's see. The pipe radio has just been researched. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, let's make sure I... Yeah, that part's gonna be totally conscious. I can't really help with that anymore. Expand current developments, send motorized, and send an arm. Authorize small scale aerial bombardments. Loans for democracy. Ah, equipment shipments. Hollow coins. Provide technical and industrial support. Offers from Rome. I see. Get me the ambassador. Italy now on the now on the line, we're gonna be able to make sure we're really getting somewhere. Balancing the budget, promise foreign resolve. Head the firing line. Appease Walter Ruther. Grant them let's try and <laughs> talk it out with the Democrats. Alright. Let's see. 
the ARPA funding budget. Wow, our GDP is already rising. News from Tokyo. While we have begun efforts to woo Italians into our alliance, we have currently dis received information that the Japanese Empire is doing much the same. We cannot let Tokyo get a lug up on us over in this war. Dictator dictatorship and double standards. Well, from Ember's Flame Horizons. Wow, when someone opens an issue of common an issue of commentary magazine expecting many things abroad in Germany about Jewish culture and religion. But most of all, articles about the political issues of today. If someone were to pick up the 1965 November issue, they would see Georgetown lauded political scientist Jean Kirkpatrick gracing it over. Oh, wow, that is crazy. Well, our hawkish... <laughs> the Laguana the del Decitro incident. Patagonia threatens to be engulfed by fire in the wake of the clash between Argentina, Grenadier, and Chil Chilean Camberanos that resulted in Chilean casualties. Okay, that's it. Where is... Okay, that's it. Where is the ambassador? PPLN facilities. Search and okay, I'll do one part of search and destroy, so that way I don't. Supply cut off troops. Careful, let's see, not one more. A primetime television with a clapping studio audience. Applause unprompted and prolonged. Rural voters will vote more nationalist and republican. Could Italy be on the tipping point in the Cold War? Oh man. Let's see. The Head Start programs. Poverty will begin to improve slightly. What about regulated insurance markets? More decisions related to our Great Society program will be now available. Alright. Invest in diplomats for Italy. Italy's democracy is a beautiful thing after years of fascism and mismanagement. Ooh, battle for Italy is not like an option. Ooh, nice one. Send no supply to Rome. Gain less than four points. If we invest in the diplomats for Italy, the Republican, the already popularity will decrease at some point in time. Six Semper Tyrannus. Head on. Why expand the OFN? Where will the dominoes fall? Gene Kirkpatrick calls on the president and government in general to increase diplomatic overtures in an attempt to move Italians into the alliance by any means necessary. Be it military or economic promises, Kirkpatrick argues that no cost is too high for a new strong ally in Europe. Okay. Union voters will trend more liberal on economic issues. That squared off. The 
Yeah, I'm not gonna disavow the, the, the Dixie Krats on this one. I'm not stupid. Ooh, but I really want more of that sweet, sweet command power. I do love my command power. Don't y'all forget it. Okay, now we're almost done with the health care for a nation. So let's see if we can try and... Wait, I can... I can't modify my officer core, but it's crazy. Coordinate with Australian patrols. Let's see. Okay, escalation will increase, but discontent will not. <laughs> Reports on the Colombian Civil War. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yep. Regulated insurance markets. Foundations of President Johnson's proposed health care system lay with insurers. Well, that's going to be an uphill battle, I will say that. Stop gap measures, let's see. Ah, huh, let's see. Well, liberals reunify Kazakhstan. Seems sometimes peace and freedom survive in this world. Like in so many other economic crises, the ones most affected by our defective healthcare are the nation's poor. Even as the advancement of technology marches forward, they are tragically left behind and swindled out of the care they need. These preliminary bills, which will do little on the long run, aim to protect both the care themselves. It's, it's right to worry about the long, how long this facade could last. Minutes to midnight. Tokyo's maliciousness. Discuss mutual interests with the Prime Minister. Affirm respect for Rome's bounds of a new of Rome's new empire. Significantly decrease the Italian independence. Hmm. Nations exist not only by possessing a government, borders, and people, but yeah. Chose the international. The Christmas War in Argentina. The Patagonia Alight. Oh man, Ethiopia is such a mess. And how is Somalia taking them over that quick? Like, that's just crazy. A presidential meeting. America and Siberia, a natural partnership. about a, the Dixie Crats. This will improve civil rights in this country. All, all, all voters will trend conservative on the issue of domestic policy. Ooh, but you know, this could actually help support. Edu we'll supply education grants for the soldiers. It's a lot easier that way. We talk the Democrat, the Dixiecrat Republican, Dixiecrat Democrats, and the Labor Democrats. The hidden lives of the urban world. Ventilil, venti, ventilate went well. Ventilation measured by bullet calibers and negative. The 
fire grows hotter. Lacerda. Oh, Lacerda is elected in Brazil. The fire grows hotter with Jean Kirkpatrick in Alexandria. A new kind of city or an older one? Opportunity, stopgap measures, hmm, replace the American malaise with a ray of hope. Truman had the right idea. Death of a Supreme Court Justice. Sad news is coming over the wires. Let's fill this vacancy. Hmm. Colin Russell. Oh, we're already in January of 1966. This is going great. Ah, our education policy monthly rate is at plus point zero four plus zero forty. Now a mental operative has also been captured. I swear this is just too much. Okay, now we shall count our pennies. Ooh, the nomination of Fergood Marshall. Good Marshall at a time like this. Because I know that there's, let's see, there's five Supreme Courts. That, let's see. In a press conference that has nominated headlines across the country, President Lyndon B. Johnson has announced Fergus Marshall currently, cur is cur um, currently a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for Second Cir Circuit will be considered for nomination to the newly vacant seat on the Supreme Court. Marshall, a graduate of Harvard Law School and experienced civil rights litigator, would be the first African American to serve on the highest court in the land. His appointment will be thoroughly marked as a turning point of American history. However, some in Congress are not willing to see such a turning point in the first place. Many of our senators come from the South and are directly reliant on white vote voter blocks who aren't well disposed towards putting a black man in the Supreme Court. Several members of the Senate have already put out statements to the press expressing their firm opposition, although nobody has come out and said it would be, it would be due to Marshall's race. Instead, the releases mention the dangers of liberal judicial activism and other such phrases. Clearly, the appointment of Fergus Marshall will be a politically will political fight for the ages. Oh, boy. Oh boy, the right thing, the right place, the right time, the right man. I hope. Or, you know, maybe to play it safe, maybe we'll do, maybe we should just nominate a conservative instead and not rock the boat a little too much. We will nominate a conservative to the Supreme Court, but this will displease the black community, where black voters will only support the conservatives or the Republicans. I'll try that to play it safe. To play, I'm gonna play nice with the Dixie Crats on this one. Arctic Partnership? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, we'll hear, we'll try and hear them out. Let's try and do that. Ooh, the Siberian National Republic. Darn it, we must double down our efforts. Random 
questioning. Next. <laughs> Building factories in Nova Zorbers. Sounds like a good deal. Our best efforts, they have refused to accept our terms. However, they provide a new offer that many think is worth considering. Simply sell them weapons, making us money immediately. And generally improve Siberian trade while working while still allowing them to arm themselves. While this has the advantage of us seeing an immediate benefit, there are some who are not fond of this idea. In their eyes, allowing a Russian warlord to dictate the terms to us saying that it sets a bad precedent, what will be our response? I mean, if they have the money to support us, why not? Oh man! Keep America strong and free for the R&D. A locks decision to campaign for the RDs. New caucuses for the extremists and MPP are now active. Oh man! Oh man! This is gonna be crazy. Wander. Imposter! The Merman's People's Republic declared war on the. Oh man, Finland be in trouble now. The Merman's People's Republic. It has now come down to this. Visas. We will do that and see how that goes. Promise, promise nuclear. Promise them nuclear design. Oh wow! Germany under spear is really kill. Provisional commission under Dietrich Salken. The Good Friday Agreement. Perhaps men can still compromise in the world. Oh wow! So Sean, Sean, Sean Lamas and Ter Terence O'Neill actually came to a slightly good agreement. That's a well. That's a first. Superseding circumstances. Just one outrage amongst many. Poverty rate will increase. 
Healthcare policy monthly rate will add up to 0.75. Spending is up by 53%. Our GDP is rising, but our, but our debt to GDP is lowering. So. Japan, Japan, Japanese proposal and issue negotiating. So. Colin Russell, 97%. And the social security eligibility. Let's see. Support spending will increase by one. The added expenses will reduce our support among rural states. Everyone said, didn't talk with each other much, and stuff. It had, been an, it had been a day as normal as any other the soldiers filed out, leaving foreign advisors to discuss day's objectives. The four soldiers in question blew their brains out with, with his service knife, painting the tent red before adding his own blood to the mix. Snuffed out just like the hometown nobody knew. Wow, that... Oh man, the state of Kenya looks weird. Like, oh, Tom Miboya. Diplomatic approach to occupation. Well, at least the Central African Republic is not going slow on the issue as well, so as long as we don't anger them too much. America wins the issue. Following weeks of intense negotiation between American, Japanese, and Italian officials in Rome, we receive word the Italian government is receptive to American proposals at hand and will align themselves closer to the U.S. on the current issue. In Washington, State Department of Fit Diplomats agree of sigh relief as Italy draws one step closer to the OFN and the free world. While their counterparts at the Ministry of Affair Foreign Affairs in Tokyo curse under their breath at the setback, the Roman government ministry is not solemnly for themselves, knowing that their decision will play a pivotal role in deciding the future of the Italian Empire for generations to come. The battle for Italy continues as the OFN and co-prosperity here await the next summons from Rome to discuss the next item on the agenda. Alright, now we're really getting somewhere. Let's department of the let's try and do a little bit of the Navy stuff. Prevention is the best cure. Begin pilot program. Pre preparations are underway to fighting poverty. Well, however, for now, we may offer benefits to America's poor in the short term. Oh wow, we have to pay for all of this? Really, another Japanese... Another Japanese person captured? That's just crazy. Okay, since I did tax hike, what do we... Oh, great! We did a ta we did a proper tax hike, so that means now I can be able to... Finally. Contact Colonel Lucas. Oh, now you gotta be. 
be kidding me. Now we gotta deal with the West African War. Oh man, I can never catch a break. African state declared war on the Republic of Loafia. Well, that's just going to be great. Prevention is the best cure. Wow. The West African War. It seems West Africa finally broke in conflict and began scattered collected border skirmishes and all that stuff. Let them come. We shall defeat them all. Yep, the West African War. This time it's between the... Now it's between the WALF, the, the FMA, and the... And the and I think the, wait, the FMA, the PALF, and the WAAF, I mean WAA, so that means, oh boy, now we're in for some really crazy time. Africa now bleeds, so now it means it's a freeway war in West Africa. Ver, very politique, is that French? I guess that means we'll have to take a- I guess that means our way will have to take a back seat to the... Ain't gonna go red. Africa isn't gonna go red on us and end up more... Africa ain't gonna go red on us and be more blanked than it already is. Self and weapons, they need it more than us. Great, now I'm involved in five different proxy wars. This is gonna be a really crazy one. Yep, expand, help expand military shipments. Train naval bombers, let's better be careful not to tread any toes on the situation, because it's gonna be a really weird one. Hold are being updated. Crumbles from Kent. Pakistan. A total lack of respect. Send equipment to the home. He has run an excellent RDC campaign in the Deep South. Run the lackluster campaign in the western states. Wow. Fun jungle infrastructure. Military advisors. I want to see how. Uh, let's see how Free France's alliance is doing. Oh, oh wow, they're not. They're not doing hot by any means. That, that's just sad. Oh, sorry. Kind of went. Kind of zoomed in a bit too much. But, but wow, France really. Free France really be going out there. Good thing I sent money to the. 
good thing I sent like equipment to the home because uh, it wouldn't be possible. How it all starts. A nation holds her breath in anticipation. Let's see. The American public is beginning to form an opinion on this. People want to attend more isolationists on the issue. Provide naval intelligence. Oh wow, France! Oh, oh wow, free France! You're getting wrecked. I can help remedy that situation. Okay, now that we're still... Oh great, now Finland is oh great, now Finland's now in a Karelia war, Russia is back with a vengeance. Oh wow, the Rush the West Russian Revolutionary Front is now declared declared war on Republic Finland. And Finland is national conservative. Congress enacts daylight savings. Remember, kids, spring is always forward and backward. Or I think something along those lines. I, I don't really know. Increase tariff-free quotas on Italian cheese. Slander, slander to Asian food standards. Encourage wine drinking. Hmm. Nice. Slander to Asi Asian food standards. Okay, let's see. Let's sweet talk to Democrats. Ninety-nine percent are. Our coalition is very terrific. Let's see. Review to begin the pilot program. Let's try that. Bear safety net, Greek society, discontent towards Africa and intervention. Wow. Warlord insurrection in China, the more cracks we can spear, the better. Wow, we're nothing about confrontation. Change never came without confrontation. MPP runs a good campaign in the cent central east coast. Let's see if I can try and win some in the league. Swell, for swell the French Foreign Legion. Harass convoy. We need to redouble our efforts again. Oh wow, our inflation really decreased by that much, by 4.3 from 5.6. That is amazing. And this is mine. Oh 
man. Now the West African War is going to escalate a lot more than it really should. Although critics are split as whether the album was a failed experiment or a bold new step, with sobering events, it surprised that listeners desire a more emotional and conflicted type of... I have to say, this album is amazing. White House meeting and make sure we currently have a careful expenditure on our program. And grant favorable committee uh, committee assignments to Southerners. Polls are updated. Let's check in on the horse race. Spread rumors of Japanese visa requirements for Italian tourists. Collaborate on museums and culture heritage. The death of, oh, death of Prince Demagunga. Oh, that is one hard name to spell, I will say. Significantly decreased Italian independence, social functions, and the embassy. I know I might be going too fast with the app, with the, um, Italy stuff, but trust me, it'll be worth every penny. Create the Office of Economic Opportunity. Let's see, for union, black, and urban voters all trend to the Democratic Party. Let's see if we can try to head start education. Our Great Society Program Cost Factor. Romania goes into isolation. A surprising stalemate. Oh wow, that's that's just crazy. They're going into they're going into isolation. How dare you, Romania? You could have at least joined Italy, and then you could have joined the United States. But oh well. Let's do some clean air regulation. And I believe this is where I'm going to have to stop for now. June 4th of 1966 on the 7th episode of the LBJ Presidency. As you can see, well, I'm trying to make sure that, that, that Free France's French military assistance wins and not the PALF or the, or the WAA. And as we can see in Indonesia, I believe that I believe that the Permiesta military is not really doing well so hot. Yeah, they're really not doing well very hot, which is kind of, which is kind of a problem in the military junta, so, uh, I'm gonna see if we can try and speed things up on this case. But, yeah, anyway, hope you fellas love this episode, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you, Great Society fellas, next time!